There are a lot of very big moves that happen in this film. And what I look at are, these are very interesting things that you're doing. And the key thing is execution. Execution is very key. It's very key. And I'm not sure whether things were executed the way they should have been. Let's keep it fully real. Fully as real as 16 crack addicts. This is a very difficult film to talk about without any spoilers. I'll be real with you. It is very difficult to talk about this film without having any spoilers whatsoever because a lot of things happen in this film. <laughs> there are a lot of moves that happen in this film, which is what makes it quite difficult to break down. But I'm going to do my best to break this down in a non-spoiler fashion. So, overall, is this a good or bad film? It's a decent film. This is a decent film. If you're a James Bond fan, you'll enjoy this film. You'll enjoy, the, you'll enjoy this film as a James Bond fan. If you are not a James Bond fan, I think... Because I, if you're not a James Bond fan per se, like really into the James Bonds, you're not really into the stuff... It's still decent because um, I think it's Kari Joji Fukunaga is a very good director. He directed The Beast of No Nation and he directed The Amazing True Detective. He directed all the episodes of True Detective and he really does a quality job here. Um, so the film is decent. But there are a lot of very big moves that happen in this film. And what I look at are these are very interesting things that you're doing. And the key thing is execution. Execution is very key. It's very key. And I'm not sure whether things were executed the way they should have been, based on just what freaking happened. Again, I can't say the things that happened because those will be spoilerish. But this is um, a film in which, you know, you have Friedman James Bond, he's sort of on the periphery. And then you have this villain coming through, played by Rami Malek. And by the way, speaking of Rami Malek, he is perfectly cast in this. Because I first saw him in Mr. Robot. And there's something about Rami Malek where, like, this guy can't be a good guy. There's a film, I think, All the Little Things with um, Denzel Washington. Where it's like, bro, he, this guy can't be good. He can't be detective. He has to be a villain. Because there's just something about his face, the way that he talks, the way that he looks, his eyes... That make him perfect. He was perfect as a Bond villain. He could be so much more. I felt he was underused. The scenes he's in are money because you just you can feel the kind of aura, and he's so unsettling as a guy. He's just so weird and odd that he works so well as a villain. And all the scenes he's in is like, oh, sugary me muffin. What the fuck, freaking this freaking dude? Um, but he could be so much more, and he could, been, especially with the things that happened in this film, he could have been re a his. The way he was used, because the writing they gave him is money, but the way that he could have been used could have been so much more, much more interesting to be a much more of an antagonist for your boy Jimmy Bond. But look, Craig does his thing. I said Daniel Craig is the best James Bond. He's the best actor to play James Bond. Uh, my favorite is Sean Connery, but he is the best James Bond based on the quality of the actor. And I just feel that still the film that used James Bond the best was Sky Skyfall. He's the film that he's using the best. He could have been used so much more in this. Um, look, I think you know. I think it's Lash Lashana Lynch who plays off sort of like the new 007. She's cool. She's just fine, you know. And I think that this could have definitely been like, hey, woman's lip girl power and all that kind of stuff. It's not that kind of stuff. It's not My Little Pony. Um, they do. They don't. They're not really overbearing with the kind of hey man, you know, female stuff that happens in in the whole thing. Because obviously you had a. Uh, I think it's. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who won an Emmy for Fleabag, she has basically come to sort of add like much more of like a female perspective on James Bond. But it isn't so overbearing, it's fine. Um, like, as I said again, look, it's very difficult to talk about. I can only talk about this in a very general sense. I can't go into specifics because if I go into to specifics, I go into spoiler territory and I, I cause because, you know, I'm a film nut, I respect the elements of keeping this non-spoiler. But like just overall, man, I think as I watch this film, I'm like, it could be so much more. 
the beauty about Skyfall was Skyfall was like, oh my god, this is what James Bond can be. Because I think you know, whenever you are you you are an an artist has to take risks. An artist that doesn't take risks isn't really an artist. And I feel that a lot of people that have come and done James Bond, they've wanted to just keep James Bond in this kind of prison. But I think when Sam Mendes came in with Skyfall, he was like, look, let me, I want to really take James Bond into a whole new territory. And sort of bring him into the real world, bring him into the whole film film world. That's why there are people who say that, oh, um, they didn't feel like Skyfall because Skyfall did feel very much like James Bond. And that's why it was so good because it felt so different. I think James Bond needed a kick up the ass in trying to push it into a, a, a different way. And because Daniel Craig, he's such an interesting actor. He's got such an interesting look and aura about him. I mean, what's it called? He was like, obviously, you know, you know him from Layer Cake. You watch him in Road to Perdition with um, Tom Hanks. He's really good in that, in Road to Perdition. You know, so you have a very... Daniel Craig is the best actor that they've had, ever had for James Bond. He's better than Roger Moore, he's better than George Lazenby. Sean Connery just has movie star quality. Sean Connery is not a, a good an actor technically as Daniel Craig. So when you have a Daniel Craig, a guy who you know he can do the kinds of things that he can do, it's such a shame that they've, they've sort of still kept him in his whole very wooden cardboard 2D. Hey, James Bond, yes, Bond, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, mm, no, push it the way that Skyfall did, the way that Mendes was, was trying to do. But I think, look, um, if this is a, a fun film. Obviously, you see, oh, Anna Dermas. The thing with Anna Dermas is this, you know, she is lovely, super attractive lady and so forth. She's a garbage actress. And that's just, I mean, I know that's, I know, I know, I know, I shouldn't be saying this. I should say how lovely and everything she is. See, I love films too much. And as a guy who, who studied acting and has made films and so forth, I really look very specifically at various things, specifically the acting, because, you know, I used to be an actor. So I have to call it as I see. So I don't care how attractive you are and so forth. She's a, she's an awful garbage actress. But I think that she's used well in this because she's not used too much. She doesn't have to overact, and I think the role that she, she plays doesn't really require the kind of acting mechanics that, let's say, a Lashona Lynch had, because, like, Lashona Lynch, who is a way better actress than her. She looks, she looks good, man. She was saying, you know, her in the old black shit. She look hot. She look hot. So, um, like, here, yeah, like, like, if Anna Dermas had to play, like, the 007 thing, Lord in Heaven. But she's fine, because, you know, she has a very fine back and forth chemistry with Daniel Craig, which, which, which is nice and cool. So it's, it's fun, it's fun. But overall, um, this is for me, you, you have to watch this film and come back to me. Because there are things that happen in this film that I just can't mention in a, in a non-spoiler review. I, I just can't because it will mess up the film for you and I don't want to mess up the film for, for anyone. But if you're a, a Bond fan, you'll, you'll enjoy it. If you're not a Bond fan, still go watch. It's a fun watch. F Kari Joji Fukunaga is a very good director. He's a real good director. And the best part of the film is the ending. Like the last third, you know, the last kind of the, the, the finale is handled very well. And when he just when he brings in his directing mechanics and how he just stages action scenes visually and how he just sort of um, blocks the action and so forth, you can just see, no, no, this guy really knows what he's doing and it's really a cut above a lot of the other guys who've done James Bond, obviously apart from Sam Mendes. Um, so look, it's... Fun, but I just wish that for Daniel Craig's final film, they could have pushed him more. Knowing that this is his final film, his final entry, for an actor of his quality, they could have really done more to really push him into more interesting, dynamic territories, which is what we saw in Skyfall. Because Skyfall, for me, is the best James, James, James Bond film. Now, my favorite is Goldfinger. With your boy Sean Connery, that's my favorite. But the best film in the James Bond thing is by far Skyfall. Which obviously has your boy Daniel Craig there because that's where Craig was really used to his maximum and they really stretched out his acting mechanics there. But actually, I wouldn't watch, watch Skyfall again, actually. Um, so yeah, man, I think overall, man... Um, you know, no, 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 Rami Manikola could have been used so much better because... <laughs> That guy could have been that guy. That 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 dude is is creepy. <laughs> that dude is creepy. No, overall, I mean, if I was giving, I'll give it a seven, seven out of ten. Decent, good, you no know, quality film and so forth. A bit melodramatic in bits, a bit cheesy in bits. Some scenes were a bit stretched over a little bit too 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 much. 
a bit too much, it was too on the nose emotionally, but I think overall it's fun. You, you can't not enjoy this. You will, it is a, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, fun, good old, enjoyable film that I think you, 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 you will like, man. So guys, tell me what you think. No, 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 no. Watch the film first, then come back for my non, for my spoiler, re spoiler review. So if you wanna, if you've seen the film and so watch, check out my spoiler review, um, and then you can see what's up. Like, subscribe, below.